Hello everyone. Um, it is already afternoon. I've had a very busy morning. I had a couple of meetings, one of which allowed me to, uh, because it was a presentation, allowed me to listen, but um, also do some, make some um, inserts for my file effects. I just did a um, calendar for the year, and I don't need to fill it in. I just need to be able to see the dates. So I did, you know, January through June and July through December. And um, I'm going to give a copy of this to my husband so he can fill in the weeks that he's taking off from work. And then I will color those numbers in, in green and put that in my um, household file effects. And then these are the monthly ones that I like to have. I just like to have a glance of the days, uh, you know, dates and the days and some fill-in blanks in case I need to write something in. Uh, I do have uh, birthday lists um, that are separate and then also on the day of the um, month I have you know the individual's birthdays like Eli's was the 16th of January he turned 6 and so on so I have that that I need to pop into my Filofax, the A5 um, household one. I also have an A5 that is a craft one, um, craft and YouTube blog one. I will do that at some point, um, share that at some point. It's very similar except that it is geared specifically to my YouTube blog and so on rather than have it all be cluttered into my household one. And that's really the key. Uh, I get a lot of questions asked, uh, why multiple Filofaxes? Why not just one? I use one as my wallet. I use um, one as my household maintenance kind of tracking. And I use one for craft. I also have kind of a fun one. So and just colors. I'm not really a Filofax collector, at least I'm saying that right now. In part because one, they're costly. Two, if you have so many that it's really just a matter of attaining rather than using, then to me it defeats the purpose. Okay, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. That was um, hubby who was calling from the road, and I kind of have to grab that because I never know if he's in a, going to be in a good reception area. Um, I have and. I punch these holes with my Repesco adjustable diary punch and I have a video on how to how to mark your Repesco adjustable diary punch to make sure that you can punch the A5 without any repeated uh, measuring so I'll put a link to that um, in the description below and several people have mentioned that they're not fans because the holes are larger than the standard Filofax holes and here they are in comparison one to another they are literally one millimeter apart. And I actually prefer the larger holes, and I'll tell you why. When your um, binded um, organizer gets full, the fuller it gets, the more difficult it is to turn the pages. If the holes are just ever so slightly larger, it makes it easier to turn the pages. So I do prefer that. Um, I could also, I also have an option of laminating the uh, year ones, the two year pages, but because these are going to be going into Polly's office and I'm sure they will come back crumpled and I will just have to, uh, I'll reprint them so I didn't even really need to punch the holes, but in the meantime I'm just going to pop them in my file effects just so I have them on record uh, um, to keep. <clears throat> A lot of the organizational file effects, uh, day timer, any uh, ring bound organizer usage is really very personal and that's the cool thing about it is that you can customize it to what you want what you need and what works for you what might work for me may not work for someone else uh, or vice versa for example <clears throat> I've seen enormous amount of really attractive pretty you know over-the-top decorated weekly pages um, I personally prefer not to decorate because I see this as a utilitarian tool. Um, it doesn't mean it has to be ugly or unattractive, so I personalize it to my extent, like the dashboard that I shared yesterday. And if you missed that video, actually, I'll do a full video of just my file effects, but if there is a sneak peek on both my Instagram and I think I posted on the File Effects um, Facebook group, 
and I'll include a link in the description below to um, yesterday's vlog. So it, it really is very, very personal, and that's the, you know, the wonderful thing about the flexibility. Because of the rings, you can include or exclude whatever you like and take out what doesn't work for you. For example, I don't know of many people who would need a chicken, chicken tracking spreadsheet, yet it's useful for me because I have chickens. I can track when we buy the feed to see if we're overfeeding the chickens or if just you know we're wasting the well it's not cheap it's not really expensive but you know the feed um, and you know keeping track of who lays which eggs on which day like I just came back from the coop actually and there was a uh, one of the giant brown eggs like the really big ones almost three inches and I know that's from um, omelet, and um, we haven't had a green egg in three days. Three days. Today is the fourth day with no green egg from Nana Janin. So I'm kind of you know keeping track of those kind of things. Um, we're going to be getting new chicks um, April 14th or 15th, something like that they're coming mid-April. So I'll be tracking their progress, and that's the mail carrier dropping off mail, i.e. the dog alarm. Yep, uh, a cacophony of <clears throat> three different dog voices. And I let it pass. Okay! So, um, so yeah, and, you know, I don't have a lot of financial information that I keep in my file effects. I suppose I could. I'm always a little concerned about printing that kind of stuff off and keeping it in something that is could physically be taken from the house or I could misplace or my husband could misplace so I have it um, you know password protected on my computer hopefully that <laughs> stays safe but you know that that's also another thing you know another way to keep things organized I, I am going to be adding something financial to my household one in part for all the repairs you know, minor you know little fix it jobs um, and bigger repairs that we need to make, have done to the house. So those kind of things and it is nice to have tracking of it. Um, I actually referred to something pretty recently um, that I thought was out of warranty but because I kept track of when it was purchased, where it was purchased from and the length of warranty at the original purchase date I was able to have have the item replaced because it was still within warranty which is wonderful and you know we have so much warranty information these days that just keeping those booklets I don't even do that anymore and a lot of stuff that I get doesn't even come with manuals because everything is PDF form so it's nice to keep track of when something was purchased, particularly appliances. So yeah, that's helpful. And that's another thing that I keep track of in my um, household file effects. Uh, all the manufacturer um, warranties, you know, purchase dates, like, you know, washer, dryer, refrigerator, all that kind of stuff. Like when we bought our furnace, it is important. And sometimes you have to refer to it and it's easier when it's in one place rather than well, they have a shadow rather than one place rather than you have to hunt down for it hunt around for it so that is what I'm going to be working on today I have three other meetings which I, I really shouldn't complain because I do I, I am very productive one of the meetings I'm the presenter at so I won't be able to do anything <clears throat> outside of you know um, doing the presentation but the two others I am just a um, listening participants so I'll be able to continue working on this and I will do a full setup uh, video of my A5 household once that's completed I'm hoping that I'm going to make a very simple dinner tonight or probably will want cereal which I will find out from him later he's having some problems with his knee he had a cortisone shot um, in his knee because he has arthritis and I know he has a very physical job which is <coughs> excuse me does not help so he had the, la the third of his three shots that he gets in his knee, and it's it's very swollen today. So he's not very he's not a very happy camper at the moment, and I can completely understand that. I mean, I sit with my butt on the chair all day, and that's my job. Whereas he's in and out of his truck, I don't even know hundreds of times a day. I can't. I, I'm sure he's lost track. So that's not doesn't feel good for him. So and thank you to everyone who sent out well wishes for his uh, tooth. <laughs> He, I, I think I'm going to have to end up beating him with a stick to go to the dentist. He's just, 
He's becoming, he's very, very stubborn. He's really not a fan of needles, like he's petrified of needles. So he tries to put off as long as possible to go to things that he thinks are optional. And I'm like, you want to have your teeth fall out of your face? And um, he, if he gets teeth, and I we've joked about this for a very long time, and it may not be a joke anymore. But I said, if you ever have to have fake false teeth, that's going to be one of those things I have to remind you to leave uh, the house with because otherwise you would forget. And how embarrassing would that be? So I'm really, really hoping that I get him into a dentist sometime this week, maybe even Saturday. Luckily, our dentist is open on Saturdays. And if he's in as much discomfort as he appears to be, I think I'm going to try and get him in on Saturday. So I might even call and see if they have an opening or if they could call if there's a cancellation. Oh, and my nail just split again. Yikes. Does anybody have a solution for this? I have a memory fracture on my nail and it keeps splitting. So I have to trim that down because that's irritating. All right, I'm going to go make myself a giant seltzer. Um, I had a meat pie earlier left over. I think I've totally worked out like that leftovers of the taco meat, uh, meat filling has been in three different meals and it's now... I think only one meat pie left, so we've really utilized that. But tonight we're definitely, if I am cooking tonight, if Polly decides not to have, you know, not in the mood for cereal, I will definitely make something fresh because I'm kind of over leftovers for now. I mean, I like utilizing, but too much of a, even a good thing is too much. So I'm going to go and make myself a giant seltzer because I'm super thirsty. And by the time you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. So I have not been drinking enough today. And I'll see you guys in a few. Well, there's the pages. Uh, there are the pages all snug as a bug in my A5. Um, I just have to uh, cut new tabs, which I will do probably today after work. So I can organize the rest of the stuff. And I have... Let's see, where's my, there's the household projects list, my weekly food menu, some of which I printed, some are hard copies, I started off writing them out, but um, I kind of like having the weekly menu, this way if I get stuck on what to make, um, I, what I should do is star the things that were really enjoyed. That way I can make them again. Like the naked pasta, it's not my number one pin on Pinterest. I think it's a couple of hundred um, repins because it is so simple, it's so easy, and it's so tasty. And, you know, when we get stuck, or like the Julia Child's beef bourguignon, which I made, which is absolutely spectacular, or shrimp and cheesy grits, as a matter of fact... I know that I had promised to work on my um, virtual cookbook because I ha I take pictures of a lot of the things that I make. I have either the finished product or the step-by-step, um, -step, like for, our, let's see if I have it in here, mm, the um, eggplant caviar, I have photos of it step-by-step, -step. or the shepherd pie. Um, I make in individual uh, muffin tins, and the potatoes are scooped with a, a medium size or small size scoop, and it looks like uh, shepherd pie bombs. It's absolutely beautiful for entertaining, and it's easy to make because you can make it ahead. Uh, what else do we have on here? Asparagus on toast with poached egg. See, naked pasta makes a uh, appearance quite often. Um, ricotta meatballs really really good stir fries so yeah there's a lot of that's what I need to do I need to print off the rest of them because I think I have a year's worth that I just haven't been adding in here and yeah so I need to just organize a few more things for my um, household file effects <clears throat> which I will be able to do because I have a I'm gonna take a little bit of a break since I ate my lunch at my desk I'm gonna go visit the girls one more time because there were two hens in the nest area so I think they're trying to lay eggs so and I don't want to leave any eggs randomly in there for them to destroy it's really just one that those are destroying so because I've busted her and Polly's already yelled at her not that that did any good but you know mm -hmm. I think it just made him feel better 
So, um, I'll be back, hopefully in a little bit. Time to make dinner, but no, I'm not gonna be making sushi tonight, although I did get my um, sushi nori. I had some, but they were just not as fresh as I would like for them to be. So I got these, and they are in a resealable package, which is good. I also um, got my rice, oh my gosh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, yeah, when I think of it, I'll post that. Um, and that came with three bamboo paddles, but they're kind of short um, and only one uh, mat. So I picked up two extra mats separately and a larger bam uh, bamboo paddle. So I picked up the rice already, so I have that. Um, I think my Marin is on its way. I think I'll be here tomorrow. And I already have rice wine vinegar. So, yeah, sometime soon there'll be sushi. I think I'll just do a veggie first because um, I need to source an Asian market that has uh, sushi grade fish. The one that we used to have uh, not far from us has closed and um, I don't want to buy just from the grocery store. Although sometimes there's really, really fresh salmon. But um, I think tonight I'm making shrimp and scallop scampi and I'm um, going to make the shrimp in the oven. I'm just going to roast them at 400 degrees for six to eight minutes with just a little olive oil, salt and black pepper. And then I'm going to have, I think I have angel hair pasta. That's what I'll make. Um, kind of like naked pasta, but a little more garlic and uh, lemon. So yeah, that'll be scampi. That's what Polly requested for tonight. I'll show you that when I'm getting ready to cook. The shrimp are thawing out because they're, they're in a sink full of cold water. <laughs> so yeah, I thought I'd share my little, and I got these all from Amazon. So it's the roasted seaweed sushi. Oh, I really want to open this seaweed. Um, there are 50 sheets in this four and a half ounce package. So this is a meal that could be on the table in 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I have 12, um, 8 to 12 count shrimp, so that's almost a pound, and some of the scallop pieces. And the only reason I'm cooking the scallops this way is because they're pieces, otherwise I would sear them in a pan like I usually do. There's a little bit of olive oil, salt and black pepper. They're going into a 400 degree oven for 68 minutes. I'm not walking away. In the meantime, pasta's boiling and should be ready just about the same time. While both those cook, I will make the um, parsley garlic uh, sauce. I'm gonna use the pan drippings from here when everything roasts. So let me pop that in the oven so I don't get started on the next step. There's the sauce. It's two tablespoons of melted butter, a zest of one lemon, a juice of one lemon, uh, a little bit of red pepper flakes, salt, black pepper, uh, and a bunch of parsley. So I'm going to add this to the pasta so it doesn't stick, and the shrimp should be ready shortly. Shrimp and scallops are done. See all those yummy juices? I'm going to add that to the pasta, and then I'll reserve the shrimp and scallops to put on top of each bowl so they don't get lost in the pasta. So there's dinner. Polly's shut cleaning up. We're going to eat dinner shortly. There it is, a bowl of angel hair with oven roasted shrimp and scallops, wedge of lemon, and very simple sauce, a little parsley and um, black lava sea salt on top with a giant wedge of lemon. That's it for me for today. Thank you so much for stopping by keeping me in company. I appreciate it. Forget to thumbs up. It's free for you and it helps me out. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everyone.